What's good, y'all? Sweet Empress Lives. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, if you are returning, what's good, my loves? This is going to be for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as North Node. Thank you so much for all the love, the likes, the shares, the subscribes. I truly appreciate y'all for real, for real. If you like to follow me on Instagram, that is at The Empress Lives. And make sure y'all hit the subscribe button if it does resonate for you, all right? So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, um, so Libra, I have a pre-channel message for y'all. It's not going to resonate for everybody. All right, we're going to see how it ties into the overall message. But, okay, so um, a loved one uh, from the beyond, a loved one that uh, may have passed on. All right, um, I feel like this uh, this loved one has been trying to, uh, to protect you or to help you in some type of way here. All right, um, now I know this is going to sound weird, but I'm definitely getting this loved one was trying to um, get you to see the truth about a mother. All right, um, so I feel like uh, some of you guys, your mother could have been lying to you or um, these could have been lies that your mother believed. And I feel like uh, this mother was teaching you these same lies or that, like I said, it could also be a mother that was lying. Um, I feel like this uh, loved one who has passed on, they wanted you to see the truth about this mother. All right. Um, I feel like um, some of you guys, uh, this could also have to do with uh, what you believe. So I feel like uh, whoever this loved one is that is trying to reach out to you, um, I'm getting that they could have been trying to get you to uh, release some type of religious beliefs. All right. Um, and this could actually be uh, someone in your family or someone that you know or are connected to. This person actually was religious when they were alive. All right. Um, this could be a pastor. Um, I was also getting a great grandmother. All right. Um, I just heard grandfather as well. So some of you guys, it could be a great grandmother. I'm also getting a, a grandfather. All right. Um, I feel like uh, they were religious or they were like a pastor. Um, I'm definitely getting uh, someone in your family or someone you're connected to. They could have like uh, ran a church or something like that. But I'm definitely getting... Um, religious loved ones could be trying to uh, get you to release religious beliefs. Okay. Um, and I feel like it's because uh, these are generational curses that uh, or it's a part of the generational curses that you are meant to uh, break free from. So I'm definitely getting, um, you know, your your ancestors or, um, you know, someone in your family here um, that could have been very religious. OK, I, I just heard a Bible thumper. So I'm definitely getting like somebody was like very, like a devout Christian. All right. Um, I, I just heard Baptist, too. So I feel like this person, um, you know, could have uh, evolved. OK, as far as the realms. And I feel like they have become enlightened to some type of, uh, you know, new truth or new beliefs here. All right. So I'm definitely getting that this uh, this person uh, was trying is trying to get you to see the truth about religion. All right. Um, and to stop you from listening to your mother or stop you from believing your mother. All right. Um, because, yeah, I'm definitely getting that, um, you know, this family member or whoever this is that you're connected to or um, that is trying to reach out to you. Uh, I feel like they were heavily trying to get you to see that um, there was deception surrounding uh, what your mother was teaching you or, um, you know, your religious background. All right. So there may have been like some hidden, uh, a hidden occult um you know, ways in, you know, whatever religion your family was a part of. All right. Um, but yeah, I feel like they are, they have been trying to get you to release, uh, the uh, release a lie. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm definitely getting, uh, because this is the age of truth. Yeah. Teacher. So yeah, I feel like some of you guys have been being guided by, um, by master teachers. Okay. Of the higher realms. I'm also getting, you have been guided to uh, be a teacher yourself. Um, to speak the truth and uh, to set, uh, you know, to set certain beliefs straight or something like that. All right. Um, yeah, because I'm definitely getting, uh, this is, it's not a time of, or it's not the age of lies or anymore. It's not the Piscean age. So I'm definitely getting that, uh, you guys are destined to be a teacher of the truth here or a speaker of the truth. All right. To teach those who are oppressed so that they are free so that they are liberated. I was getting liberation in the last reading as well. Yeah. I feel like this has something to do with your roots here. All right. Some of you guys are destined to be a Reiki master or some of you guys here could have, um, done some type of Reiki healing here. All right. Um, after feeling stabbed in the back or after some type of heartbreak, and I'm definitely getting, it was, uh, it, it actually helps you to elevate, um, it, your mind. Okay. I feel like a lot of you guys could have been studying. A lot of you guys could have been researching, um, definitely getting, uh, you know, y'all was heavy in the books or just, uh, researching or studying something here. 
All right. Um, some of you guys, y'all destined to be a chef, okay, or a cook. Uh, but yeah, I'm definitely uh or what I'm getting for some of you guys, uh somebody in your family, a grandmother could ha have been like a um a bomb ass cook or like a chef or something. All right. Um but I'm definitely getting whoever this loved one is that's trying to reach out to you. They they were pushing you to to get healing, to get some type of Reiki healing after a heartbreak. All right. Because I feel like they saw that you were, uh, you know, deeply uh, rooted to something or some of you guys, this could have been you deeply in love uh, with someone here that was stabbing you in the back. I'm definitely getting it could have been a mother for some of you guys. All right. And I feel like Reiki could have healed you from this. So um, healing from some type of childhood wounds. Yeah, I'm definitely getting um, something could be like uh, coming out here as far as uh, someone here being, uh, you know, seen as a liar. All right. Um, but yeah, I feel like some of you guys are destined, uh, you know, to be famous here. But I feel like uh, some of you guys could have got stabbed in the back in a, a past marriage here. And I feel like the same, um, you know, loved one that passed, I feel like they were trying to reach out to you, uh, you know, give you some type of clues about this person. Um, from your past that you were married to or that you were thinking about marrying. I'm definitely getting a liar. All right. It could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius or a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But yeah, I feel like whoever this loved one is, they have been the ones uh, that's been like, um, you know, guiding you uh, as far as like uh, to see the truth about people here that were lying to you, deceiving you, stabbing you in the back. All right. Um, they've been helping you to, uh, to they've been like guiding you to certain information to research all right, um, guiding you to certain, uh, you know, Reiki masters for healing. Yeah, I'm definitely getting us uh, that this uh, this loved one has been helping you through your, uh, you know, your spiritual journey here. Hold on a second, y'all. All right, so yeah, y'all's is a little uh, deep today, Libra. But yeah, I'm definitely getting um, there's there's definitely a loved one that is trying to reach out to you here. Um, like I said, they could have been religious, um, and I feel like they want you to come back to your roots. Okay, so they could have actually inspired you to uh, you know, to start researching about your roots, to you know, uh, find out about your culture, where you come from, your background, um, the origin of religion. All right, so I'm definitely getting that this uh, you know is coming from a loved one that has passed here all right um i just heard grandmama okay so some of y'all could be a grandmother i'm getting a great grandmother as well okay yeah i feel like they were never happy i feel like they want you to know that they were never happy in uh in believing in in whatever religion that you guys believed in in your family here yeah i feel like uh they've been helping you to end some type of dramatic cycle that your family has uh some type of spell Okay, yeah, because I feel like uh, your entire family could have been under some type of mind control um, through uh, through a cult or through religion, all right, or a religious cult. Yeah, y'all, I feel like that uh, something has to do with uh, your family line or your roots here where I feel like uh, people could have been passing down some lies, okay, where, um, you know, it was causing, uh, you know, unhappiness, uh, depression. Uh, I'm also hearing suicidal thoughts or, um, just, just always feeling broken. I'm getting, it is a time for, uh, you to uplift your, uh, your family line here. Okay. And remove, uh, you know, feeling broken or, or beaten or, um, I'm getting like, uh, it's taking you away from demonizing who you are as a people. Okay. Or where you come from. Cause I feel like your beliefs or your family beliefs was demonizing you, you, whoever, uh, you know, your roots. All right. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely getting, um, your, your, you know, this loved one has been trying to get you to go back to your roots here, um, and helping you through some type of healing because it has been like, uh, not only have you been stabbed in the back, but your mama, your grandmama, your grandmama's mama, you know what I'm saying? So you are meant to break this generational curse to speak the truth, to teach others. Okay. I'm definitely getting a uh, liberation from uh, being oppressed here. Yeah, look, I feel like y'all definitely are no longer emotionally stuck, okay, or feeling like you can't manifest wealth or abundance or happiness in your life. Um, some of you guys are inv uh, investing in a project here. I'm definitely getting, um, if you are investing uh, in being a, a speaker, a teacher, a lyricist, a Reiki master, a healer, um, I'm definitely getting it's a good investment here. All right. Um, I feel like uh, some of you guys, there could be a return of a past love. I'm, uh, this could be like a past life love here. Um, 
um, this person definitely uh, was meant to come into your life. So I'm getting this loved one even help bring you and this person uh, together here because they knew that they would uh, trigger you or inspire you in spirit. Okay, so yeah, I feel like, y'all, this is deep. I feel like your loved one here, um, you know, uh, guided you and someone else together here because they knew that they would inspire you, that they would uh, spark your spirit, okay? Um, because I feel like this is somebody that you have known um child i just heard uh july 4th 1776 uh-uh yeah i feel like somebody has been stopped from being the emperor or from uh coming into union with an empress since july 4th 1776 slavery okay so i feel like uh slavery um coming in between uh unions here yeah making them unstable Okay. Yeah. I feel like, um, divine masculines and divine feminines here, um, that may be African American originally from America here. Uh, that's what I'm getting. Um, or it could be Africa. I'm definitely getting, uh, things were unstable in your, uh, your, on your twin flame journey or in your union here. Okay. Due to being stabbed in the back by lies by, uh, by, uh, I just heard old wives tales or old lies. Okay, um, I'm definitely getting somebody was hiding being uh, hiding being in the cult um, and portraying like they were religious here. But I'm definitely getting like y'all making wise decisions here uh, based off of your intuition. All right, because I feel like you were stabbed in the back by uh, having to betray your intuition because of religion. All right. Yeah, I'm definitely getting uh, this loved one has been trying to get you to see. That's why you, uh, your family line hasn't been experiencing wish fulfillment, even in marriages. OK, um, I feel like a certain like uh, your your mother, your grandmother, whoever, like your your family line has been married to karmics. OK, yeah. And I'm getting now you are the change. You're the one that's going to make wise decisions uh, to, to change your whole family line here. All right. Yeah. Because I feel like your whole family line, like uh, for a while, was unable to successfully uh, be independent or be a boss here. Some of you guys, uh, you know, were unsuccessful, you know, for lifetimes here. OK, because of who you were choosing as far as like lovers. OK, but I'm getting you are releasing this conflict here. So I'm definitely getting your family. A lot of the women in your family were, uh, you know, uh, coming together with karmics based off of a lie. OK, but I'm definitely getting that you guys are breaking some type of generational curse here. Some of you guys are an up and coming celebrity. All right. Destined to be famous. All right. But I feel like you guys had to stop believing a, a mother that was a liar or um, believing a lie or lies that your mother, uh, you know, had passed down to you here. All right. Because I feel like they were being lied to. Your grandmama was being lied to. Your great grandmama was being lied to. And it was actually, uh, you know, keeping some type of curse on your family here. All right. Um, keeping your keeping the women in your family married to karmics. Yeah. Karmics who were stabbing them in the back. Yeah. A waste of time. A waste of time when positive thinking could have manifested uh, the life and the happiness that your family line wanted here. All right. Yeah. But I'm definitely getting you are the change. You have made a good change for your family's entire uh, highest and greatest good here. Your whole entire family. OK. Yeah. Because I feel like um, instead of you guys choosing death. OK. You're, you are choosing life for your family line here. You guys are breathing life into your uh, into your family line. All right. Yeah. Through positive thinking. Yeah. Y'all, that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm definitely getting in the immediate future here. Somebody could be trying to still mind control you by uh, still trying to feed you some type of lie here. All right. But deny this person. OK, deny this person. It could be a Sagittarius. All right. Um, this person could be very surprised because you keep denying them because you know that they're a liar. All right. This person just wants your attention. They just want you to put in work for no reason here. All right. Yeah, I'm definitely getting um, somebody. You already know it's a waste of time here. And I feel like uh, whoever um, this uh, loved one who has passed on, they want you to see that this person is just trying to come back around for your attention and cut them off all the lies. OK, cut them off because y'all have a mission um, and a purpose to like literally heal your line. OK, and y'all getting help. <laughs> but anyways, so next time.